Hey, it's Ethan with ComTech. So this is a video that I have been looking forward to making because I have heard a lot from you guys about what are the differences between Windows 10 and Windows 11. They look similar, but they're definitely different. Um, so we're gonna go over a number of items today and we'll, we'll get started. So the first thing that I wanna mention here, uh, because anytime we talk about there's change coming, Windows 10 goes to Windows 11, it's a totally new operating system. To be honest with you, a lot of people freak out uh, because change is a little bit scary. Um, I'm not gonna go into getting very technical, but I did wanna highlight that the underlying code between Windows 10 and Windows 11 is the same. For most of you, that probably doesn't mean that much, but the main point here is underlying, the, the underlying system is the same. It's going to operate the same. It's not that big of a difference. They changed, they moved some icons around, they added some icons, as you'll see here in a moment, but they didn't change everything and how it works. Um, so rest assured, if you're a little freaked out by change and this operating system's going away and this new one's coming, it's not that different. So just bear with us. So the first part is in Windows 10, so if you click on the Start menu, you'll notice the Start menu is in the bottom left-hand side. It looks like this. And if you click on Windows 11 Start menu, it looks very different. Uh, I don't want to say very different, but it looks different. If we put them side by side, not only does Windows 10, the Start menu is on the left. Uh, with Windows 11, it goes to the very center of the screen. Um, you'll actually, I've got that here at the next slide, but if you just look at the icons themselves and how it looks in general, uh, you can see it looks quite a bit different. It has all your apps right here on Windows 10. On Windows 11, you actually have to click all apps to see the same thing. Um, so it just, they've moved some stuff around. So that's the first difference. Start menu looks a little different and they moved it to the very center of the screen instead of on the left. Now, the second thing that I wanna talk about is in the bottom right-hand side on Windows 10, you would click any of these icons down here and you would get a mem menu that looks very similar to this where you could look at your Bluetooth settings, you can look at your Wi-Fi, you can look at that sort of thing. Well, Windows 11, they pretty much just took that and kind of condensed it down. They tried to make everything as small as it could. Uh, again, to put these side by side, this is what it looks like. Um, nothing major, you know, they didn't add anything major here that I want to point out, but I did want to show you it looks different. So when you click the button, there's something in your brain that's going to say, okay, I don't know exactly what it is, but something looks a little different. This is, they just move some stuff around on you. That's Microsoft for you, unfortunately. The third thing that I want to talk about is if you right click on your desktop and you have all of these different options, uh, view and sort by, new document, that sort of thing. What they did here was in Windows 11, they rounded the corners of the little box, um, so they got fancy, and then they also added a number of different icons. I'll actually show you here. Uh, you can see they, on the left-hand side with Windows 10, they didn't have icons. On the right-hand side with Windows 11, they added a bunch of different icons. So again, it's a little bit different. You have a lot of the exact same, uh, same icons or same options, I should say. But again, when you right click on it, your brain's gonna go, okay, something feels a little different here. It's because it is. They added some icons and they changed the way it looks. The next thing I wanna talk about is the File Explorer. So a lot of you, I'm sure, work in the File Explorer quite often. This is Windows 10. Um, so you'll notice that you've got frequent folders, you've got recent files, and you've got your normal quick access there. With, and actually, I zoomed in here so you can see that frequent folders and the recent, uh, the recent files. With Windows 11, one thing that they changed or they made differently is now you have a recommended area. So the system is going to look at what you have been working on and it's going to say, hey, do you wanna start working on this file again? So it's gonna recommend files. Uh, it still has your recent, it still has your icons over here. The icons are a little bit different, which is actually what I'll show you here in just a moment. Um, they did change the top 
of the file explorer. So with Windows 10, you'll notice that it has it all spelled out in Windows 11. Again, they shrunk it down and tried to make it as small as possible on you. Uh, on, the, on the same file explorer, Windows 10, you'll notice all the different icons. On Windows 11, they changed the icons. Uh, a good one that I always point out is downloads used to be the little blue uh, down arrow. Now it is a green down arrow with a line underneath it. Again, nothing revolutionary, but your brain, when you see Windows 11, you're going to say, oh, okay, something feels a little different. It's because you're used to seeing this, and now you're going to see this. Now, one other thing they did add on File Explorer is in Windows 11, in Windows 10, when you used to open up two file explorers, let's say you opened up your downloads and you opened up your documents, they're two totally separate windows. Well, with Windows 11, you do have the ability where you can just open up a tab inside a file explorer, very similar to how you have tabs in your web browser. You can do that here. Nothing revolutionary, but it is a little bit different. Now, let's talk about uh, window snapping. So Microsoft has spent a good bit of time knowing that people are multitasking more and more. So instead of working on one window, they may have Google up here and they may have Excel or they may have Outlook. So the issue is in Windows 10 especially or Windows 7 and older ones, you would have to try to size those windows and get it exactly halfway on this side of the screen on your monitor and then have another one on this side. So what they've done is they made it to where if you grab any of your windows and you drag them to the left side of the screen or the right side, you'll notice that there's like this gray area. Uh, and if you let go, if you let go of your mouse at that time, what it's going to do is it's going to snap whatever you had, it's going to snap it over there, and then it's going to say, what do you want me to put over here? So the point there is, is if you choose any of those options, it perfectly puts them, it sizes them for you. So that's the goal. They also did the exact same thing, just a little bit more fancy, with if you grab that same window and you drag it to the top, you'll notice that very small bar there. And when I actually zoomed in for you, if you hold your mouse up there, it's going to give you some options. So these are the options that it's going to show you. Uh, so you can say, hey, I want to work on two screens or I want to work on three screens or whatever it may be. And I think in this demonstration that I'm about to show you, I chose the third option or the second option from the end, which is three different pieces. So I let go. It put the, what I had in the, middle, in the middle there. And then on the left hand side, it said, hey, what do you want to work on? If I would have chose something, then it would have popped up and said, what do you want to work on over here? Um, so hopefully that makes sense. The whole point is for you to be able to multitask a little bit better. Now, the next thing I want to show you is Windows Copilot. So there is a little button. I actually, I've zoomed in here. There's a little rainbow icon down there in the bottom right. That icon can move around depending on what Windows update version you have. Um, I've seen it in the middle, right beside the start menu, or I've seen it on the far right. But when you click that, what it's going to do is it's going to give you something similar to ChatGPT. It is a little AI program where you can ask it questions. Uh, I've actually given you a couple of questions that I like to ask. Um, so instead of going out to Google, I like to go, I like to go to Copilot and say, hey, I'm trying to shop for a car right now. I want you to compare a Hyundai here and a Kia here, and I want you to give it to me in a table and show me that or I need you to create an image of a birthday party because I'm trying to use it in an email and it'll create an image. Uh, you know, I'm going on vacation and I need an itinerary. Give me a three day itinerary to Nashville, Tennessee or, or whatever it may be. So you get my point here. You can also make it, you know, write text and, and that sort of thing. You know, write me a joke, something like that. It is AI. So if you've used something like ChatGPT, very similar. It's just built right there into the desktop. So as a final recap here, um, so the changes themselves, uh, like I said, they just changed a lot of the menus and how they look. They changed the file explorer just a little bit. Uh, and then as far as what they added, they gave you the ability to have different tabs inside a file explorer. 
They gave you more snapping ability to be able to multitask. And then finally, they gave you Copilot. So if you have any questions whatsoever about any of this, comment below or reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. But one final note, I just, if you hear Windows 10's going away, Windows 11's coming, and it's a little bit scary, don't worry. It's not that big of a change. It just looks a little bit different. Have a great day.